Amen. What is another scriptural prayer? Jesus said, you should ask the master of the harvest to send forth laborers. That's a scriptural prayer. If you ever go to a mission field, you will be overwhelmed that how much work is, is undone. There is a lot of work to be done. If you sit in a church, you don't understand that, but you go out. For example, your camp, how many people are there who are not, who are, who are not saved? Who is going to preach the gospel to them? Do we have enough people to pe tell this is only one camp? There are how many camps are there? How many laborers you need to work on it? That's, a, that's why the word says you should ask the master, uh, Matthew 9, what is that? Matthew 9, 38. Amen. We need to pray to send forth laborers into harvest. These are the prayers that God wants us to pray, but we are busy doing other things. And that's why nothing happens. We need to pray according to the scripture. We need to ask. The Bible says you don't receive because you don't ask. Amen. Amen. If you ask anything according to his will, he will do it for you. We are not praying according to his will. We have, you know, that we get that uh, good feeling when you fight. That's why you always, you know, want to fight the devil. Not, not interested in praying, only fighting. Amen. We need to start praying according to the scripture. What the scripture tells us, we need to pray according to that. And then things will happen. If things has happened in the time of Charles Finney, it will still happen. If we pray according to his will. His will is that everyone should be saved. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Brother is from Nepal. How many laborers do you need in Nepal? 90% of the population is Hindu. Who is going to preach the gospel to them? Have you ever prayed, God, please send laborers to Nepal? To Malawi? To India? No, we are busy fighting the devil. Amen? Amen? We don't have to fight the devil. He's defeated. He was Amen. publicly shamed. He doesn't have anything. All that he has is some tricks. All take special notice on what is a scriptural prayer and what is not. I'm just getting overwhelmed by the unscriptural prayers that are going around. You know, there is a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ. Amen. Most of the people don't know the character of God. They think God is the one who is keeping the revival at bay. God wants a revival more than you and I want the revival. Amen. But it will happen only if you and I act in the line of the scripture. Amen. If you do something else other than God told us to do, there is not going to be revival. Things won't happen in our lives if you're not going according to the scripture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We need to understand that we, we, we are a triumphant church. Yes. We are a triumphant Amen. church. Amen. And God wants every good thing to come to us. That's God's will. Amen. Amen. I see a lot of unbelief nowadays. People talking about job. Many people caught this. Recently I went for a funeral. And you know this man's wife. The, the man who departed his wife was crying. And people who were comforting were saying. You know God gave and God took away. As in the case of job. Is it scriptural? Job said God gave and God took. Is it correct? That's what Job said, right? Job said God gave, God, God gave, God took away. But what was it that actually happened? Was it God the one who took it away? Who took it away? It was Satan who took it away. But Job was thinking that it was God, right? But people still say God gave, God took it away. God is not the one who is taking anything away from you. 
it is the thief who comes to steal to destroy and to kill god jesus came to give you life and life in abundance amen if you don't have this basic understanding of god you're not going to win the victory hallelujah i mean there is you you speak to every other person this is this is the mindset that they have of god god gave and god took away many of the pastors you know in in kerala and in india many pastors died and many people come and god gave god took away what how do you tell this tell the truth to this people how do you educate them you know it's sometimes it, it it's frustrating though we are few if we know the character of god god is love he is full of mercy and compassion if you understand what is his will regarding your life that's going to change your life that's going to change your perspective you will not take losses for granted you will not take sickness for granted you will not take poverty for granted because that's not your portion your portion is a double portion your portion is all the spiritual blessings in heavenly places that's what jesus died for amen and if you know that you will stand for it if you don't know that you will say okay god gave god to give away amen amen if you are a triumphant church we need to stand for the things that jesus died for us for the promises that god gave us Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Time. Sorry, I have overshot the time. So we need to ask God according to the scripture. Can we like read one last uh, verse Matthew 24:14? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Mhm. Then shall the end come. Praise God. The word says this gospel shall be preached over all the earth and then shall the end come. Whose end? The end of the world is also the end of Satan, devil. Do you think he wants that to happen? That's why he is occupying your time in fighting against him. This time you should have been using to preach the gospel. Amen. 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 he knows if you preach the gospel and the gospel reaches to the end of the world his end has come he's done amen and he doesn't want to do that that's why he is making you fight against him he's he has got nothing to lo- lose because he has lost everything he doesn't have anything to lose amen, amen. he is engaging you in fighting with him but if you stand on the promises of god or stand on what god has already done for you you are going to make sure that his end is coming very soon hallelujah Amen. praise god so let us act like a triumphant church i've been preaching this for 2 months i would be happy if at least one of you acted like a triumphant church i hope every one every one of you would but let us be a triumphant church not just in words in our actions in our deeds we are a triumphant church amen hallelujah god bless you all Praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We are a triumphant church. Amen. 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 Let's uh, let's all rise up to our feet and uh, bless the man of God who has given us the word. Thank you, Jesus. I request Tony also to come forward, please. Let's let's lift up our hands and bless the man of God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you for Hallelujah. this wonderful evening. Thank Jesus. you for speaking to us. Jesus. We are a triumphant church. Yes, Lord. We believe that, O oh, Jesus Master. We stand on the promises of God, O oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right now, we. Pray for Pastor Anish and his family, Lord. Bless him, Lord of Jesus. Hallelujah. Use him mightily, Lord of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Reveal, reveal us, Jesus. Lord Jesus. Through Jesus. him, Lord of Jesus. Jesus. The mysteries, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Father God. We thank Hallelujah. you. We thank Hallelujah. you. Use him mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, last week, while we were with these brothers, we uh, learned a new Hindi song with action. So we plan to sing that, and we're going to learn the Hindi. we are going to learn that hindi song it's displayed here listen to the lyrics and we're going to do the actions as well my request you know the action right you can come forward
लाइन चल रही छोड़ दे छोड़ दे अपने आप का भरोसा कर मसीह पे भरोसा वो तुझे जानता है मीनिंग ऑफ दिस Uh, yes, sir. You you were there, right? Yes, sir. You know the meaning, right? Anybody who doesn't didn't understand, you okay? You understood? आपको समझ आया? हिंदी आता है ना आपको? तो भी क्या? Just like, छोड़ दे, छोड़ दे, अपने आप का भरोसा, छोड़ दे, छोड़ दे, अपने आप Yeah. 